good morning children this is 7th standard maths in your part 2 textbook children this is chapter 11 perimeter and area so in your previous classes you have studied what is perimeter and area so we shall recall what is perimeter and what is area we know that perimeter is the distance around a closed figure then area is the part of plane or region occupied by the closed figure so in seventh standard of the chapter perimeter and area we shall study the perimeters of rectangle square parallelogram triangle and circles regarding these different shapes we will study the perimeter and area. Consider the first figure children in which you can observe the rectangle. We know that in a rectangle there are four sides. AB is the length of the rectangle and BC will be the breadth of the rectangle. The rectangle is a closed figure and we know that the property of a rectangle is that in a rectangle opposite sides are equal that is AB will be equal to DC and BC will be equal to AD. In a rectangle, all the angles are equal to 90 degree. Therefore, angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C equal to angle D. All the four angles will be equal to 90 degree. Therefore, children, the perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 into L plus B. Where L is the length of the rectangle, B is the breadth of the rectangle. Then area of the rectangle is given by L into B where L is length and B is breadth. So these are the formulas to find the perimeter and area of rectangle where perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 into L plus B. Area of a rectangle is equal to L into B. Next we shall move on to square. A square is a closed figure. We know that in a square, all the four sides are equal. Therefore, PQ is equal to QR, equal to RS, equal to SP. Therefore, all the four sides in a square are equal. Then, each angle in a square is equal to 90 degree. Therefore, angle P is equal to angle Q is equal to angle R is equal to angle S yes is equal to 90 degree. Therefore, the formula to find the perimeter of a square will be equal to 4 into side and the area of a square is equal to side into side. These two are the perimeter and area formulas for the square. Perimeter is equal to 4 into side and area is given by side into side. The next figure you can observe here is the parallelogram. Children, this parallelogram is a quadrilateral. So, quadrilateral is a closed figure which is having four sides. Therefore, parallelogram is an quadrilateral having four sides. Here you can observe four sides AB, BC, CD and DA. These are the four sides of a parallelogram. Then, in the parallelogram children, opposite sides are equal. Therefore, AB will be equal to DC and BC will be equal to AD. So, in a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal. And coming to the angles property children, Opposite angles will be equal in a parallelogram. Therefore, to this angle A, which is the opposite angle children? Yes, angle C. Therefore, angle A is equal to angle C. 
then for the angle b which is the opposite angle children it is angle d therefore angle b is equal to angle d therefore in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal and opposite angles are equal then to find the area of a parallelogram we have the formula that is equal to base into height in this figure you can observe that a b is the base and d from here one perpendicular straight line is drawn to the base a b that forms 90 degree which is called as the height so this is the height of the parallelogram and a b is the base therefore the formula to find the area of the parallelogram will be equal to base into height next is triangle a triangle is a closed figure bounded by three sides therefore we know that there are three types of triangle equilateral triangle isosceles triangle and scalene triangle in equilateral triangle all the three sides are equal in isosceles triangle only two sides are equal whereas in scalene triangle all the three sides will have different measures therefore children in a triangle we find three sides pq qr and rp three sides and three angles are formed then the area to find the triangle is equal to half into base into height so in this figure children qr is the base and from the p p is the vertex so from the vertex p a perpendicular straight line is drawn to the base qr which is called as the height therefore the formula to find the area of the triangle will be equal to half into base into height next is circle children circle is also a closed figure so when coming to the real life situation if we consider bangles coin these are some of the examples of a circle so children this is a circle and the distance around a circular region is known as its circumference and the formula to find the circumference of a circle is given by c is equal to 2 pi r where we know that this pi is a constant which is having the value 22 by 7 or 3.14 this is a constant pi then r will be the radius therefore the circumference c is equal to 2 pi r in the circle the center point is denoted by c which is called as the center of the circle then from the center a straight line that connects any point on the circle is the radius here in the figure children you can observe c a is the radius which is denoted by the symbol r therefore to find the radius value in a circle we have the formula that is equal to diameter divided by 2 or diameter by 2 then what is diameter diameter is a line segment which passes through the center of the circle is called as the diameter then how to find this length of the diameter so the diameter is equal to 2r therefore diameter is twice the value of the radius then the formula to find the area of a circle is equal to pi r square then circumference so that circumference we have two formulas one is 2 pi r that when radius value is given we can have another formula to find the circumference of a circle when the diameter of the circle is given that will be equal to circumference is equal to pi into d where d is the diameter and pi is the constant value having 22 by 7 or 3.14.
Next is semicircle. Here in this figure, you can observe the semicircle children. And what is semicircle? A diameter of a circle. I told diameter is a line segment which passes through the center of the circle in the straight in this way also. Whereas in this way also the diameter can be passed through a circle. Therefore, a diameter of a circle divides the circle into two equal parts. When it's divided into two equal parts, each part is a semicircle. Therefore, when the diameter divides the circle into two equal parts, the equal part is called as a semicircle and this is the semicircle children. A semicircle is half of a circle with the end points of the diameter as the part of the boundary. This is the boundary and this is the half of the circle. Therefore, a semicircle is a half of the circle with the end points of diameter as part of the boundary is called as the semicircle. So children, you need to remember the perimeter and area formulas for rectangle, square, parallelogram, triangle and circle. This is very important. So these formulas you should by heart and study. Next topic children, conversion of units. So, meter, centimeter, millimeter, these are all the units. So, children, how to convert one unit into another? This one also you should remember, children. We have the conversion of units. 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Therefore, meter can be converted into centimeters by 1 meter equal to 100 centimeters. Then, 1 meter square is equal to 10,000 centimeter square. And 1 centimeter square is equal to 100 millimeter square. That means when we have to convert centimeter square into millimeter square, we can apply 1 centimeter square is equal to 100 millimeter square. M M is millimeter square. Then 1 hectare. Hectare is a unit to measure the area of the land children. Therefore, 1 hectare will be equal to 10,000 meters square. So, when you, need, when you need to convert hectares to meters square, the formula or the conversion of unit that we can apply is 1 hectare is equal to 10,000 meters square. So children, this is the introduction part of the chapter, perimeter and area. The important point you need to remember in the introduction is the formulas and the conversion of units. Hope this is clear children. Thank you.